Hi guys, welcome to part two of my little Pip Amigurumi. And in my first video, I showed you how to make the main body, arms and feet. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add the hair, the bow and uh, the hood, of course. So what we're gonna do now is we are, I've sewn on the feet just the same way as I sewed on the, um, on the arms. And uh, now we're gonna work on the hood. We'll do the hood first. So let's get our green yarn to make our little frog hood. And first thing we're going to do is not the camera, <laughs> is we're going to do a chain full loop. So same hook size, three millimeter or similar, and uh, do a little slip knot. And we're going to chain four. Just chain one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then we're going to put a hook into our first chain and do a slip stitch. So bring the yarn through, straight the loop on your hook. And now you've got a little loop of chains. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 half double crochet into the center of this loop. So in UK terminology, that's going to be a half treble. So we're gonna yarn over and then put our hook into the middle. And careful not to put it in your chain one, into the middle. Bring the yarn through the middle and just wrapping it around the chains, do a half double crochet. And we want 10 of those. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, my camera doesn't want to focus, eight, nine, and one more, ten. Okay, so you've got ten half double crochets, two, four, six, eight, ten, and just pull in that tail end a little bit. Then find your first half double crochet and we're going to slip stitch into there. Just join the round. Okay, and I'm going to trim down this tailing because it's annoying me. There we go. Okay, so then what we're going to do, we'll do a little chain one. Again, don't count that as a stitch. And we're going to do two half double crochets in each stitch around. So starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into, we're going to do two half double crochets one and another one, two, so you've got two in there, and do two half double crochets in each stitch around, two and two, we've got a stitch count of 20, so two in there, two in the next one, and back at the beginning, two in the last one, the last stitch. Okay, so you should have a stitch count of 20 and then we're going to slip stitch into our first half double crochet. Slip stitch into there, just join the round, okay? Okay, then moving on to round three, we do a little chain one and very similar to the head, we're going to do one half double crochet in that first stitch, just one. And then the next stitch we do two half double crochet one and two. And we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around doing one half double crochet, two half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochet, back to the beginning you'll end on two half double crochet and you want a stitch count of 30. Okay so one half double crochet in the next stitch then two half double crochets. Then back to one that's the last two stitches, one half double crochet, then two half double crochet, one and two. So you should end on two half double crochet and we should have a stitch count of 30 and then we're going to slip stitch into our first half double crochet, which can sometimes be a little bit lower because we haven't chained at the beginning. I don't tend to chain at the beginning because it makes it look loose, I prefer a neat to finish like this. Uh, okay, so then moving on to round four, similar thing again, we're going to chain one, 
do one half double crochet in the first two this time so starting in that same stitch as your slip stitch do a half double crochet half double crochet in the next stitch then two half double crochet one and two and then repeat that all the way around doing one half double crochet in the next two then two half double crochet then one half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochet, back to the beginning, end on two half double crochet, and with a stitch count of 40. Okay, <laughs> so one in the next stitch, one in the next stitch, then two half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, coming up to the last three stitches, do one half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch then end on two half double crochets one and two in the same stitch okay then we're going to slip stitch into our first half double crochet and we should have a stitch count of 40 after that and now what we're going to do is we're going to do rounds five, six and seven. We're just going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so that's three rounds of just chain one, then one half starting in the same stitch as your slip stitch. Do one half double crochet in each stitch around. So we're keeping to a stitch count of 40. Okay, and we're going to do that for three rounds. Three rounds of just one stitch in each. Okay, so I should do that and I shall come back. Okay, so just coming up to the last couple of stitches on the third round. Just doing one half double crochet in each stitch around. Chaining one at the beginning and slip stitching at the end. And those rounds felt like they went on for ages. But it's so fast when just done on camera <laughs> and you can edit. But yep, done one, two, three rounds of just one stitch in each and should look a little something like this. And then what we're going to do is we are going to do chain one. Not chain one. And we're going to do one half double crochet in the first 35. So basically one half double crochet in each stitch around up to the last five stitches. We're going to skip the last five, okay? So starting in the same stitch as your slip stitch, do one half double crochet in the first 35. So two, three, four, 33, 34, and 35. Okay, so I've done one half double crochet in the first 35, basically up to the last five stitches. You should have five left. We're gonna skip those, okay? And we're gonna do a chain one and turn your work. And we're going to do one half double crochet all the way around in those 35 stitches. Okay, we're going to do that twice, so for rounds 9 and 10. So starting in that first stitch, do one half double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, in just the 35 stitches. Just one half double crochet in each stitch. Okay. And when you get to the other side, up to here, so you should have done it in only 35 stitches. And the last one here. Okay, so we're still skipping those five there. When you get to the other side, we're going to chain one and turn, and we're gonna do one half double crochet in those 35 stitches again. Okay, back to the other side. So there's one half double crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 35. Now when you get to the other side, we're going to do the same thing again. So let's get that last stitch. When you get to the other side, we're going to chain one and turn again. And we're going to do one half double crochet in those 35 stitches over to the other side again. Just one half double crochet in each stitch around, keeping a stitch count of 35. 
Okay, so just coming up to the other side. There we go. So it should look something like this. It should have this opening at the front. But what we're going to do now, though, is we're going to do five half double crochet foundation stitches. Now, if this is too complicated, you can just chain five. But give this a go if you can, because it'll be a lot neater. So we're going to yarn over, and we're going to begin by putting our hook into the same last stitch as our last half double crochet into there. And we're going to bring the yarn through, keeping it loose going to do a little chain one but just going to pull through the first loop only and that creates a chain on the end then we pull through all three loops to do our half double crochet so that's our first one done the next one though we're going to put into that loop we created that chain one so yarn over and then put in your hook into that chain one that you created here so it's just along from that last stitch into there do the same thing again, we're going to bring the yarn through there, keeping it loose, we pull through that first loop only to create our next chain, then pull through all three to do our half double crochet, so that's our second one. Next one, we're going to work into that loop we created there, so if you're always confused as to which loop it is, just count three over, so one, two, three, and then it's the fourth one, it's the fourth loop that you need to work under. So we're going to go onto there and catch the other side, bring the arm through, again keep it loose, pull for that first loop only, then pull through all three. Okay, and there's our third one done, our third chain created there. Next one, yarn over, count four over, one, two, three, four, stitch we created that chain work under there bring the yarn through keep it loose pull for the first loop only to create your chain yarn over pull through all three so that's our fourth one we're going to do one more so yarn over count four over one two three four that chain we created and this is the half double crochet foundation stitch bring the yarn through and again, pull for the first loop only, and pull through all three. And we're done. We've created five half double crochet foundation stitches. It's as if there was a magic row of chains there. If that's too complicated and really very frustrating, then just chain five if you want to. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find, skip the, the gap, and find that first stitch the other side, and we're going to slip stitch into there. Just do a little slip stitch, okay, and that creates a little opening there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, we're going to do a little chain one. And we're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around. So, and now we should have a stitch count of 40. So starting in that same stitch you slip stitched into, we're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around. Now if you've created chains instead of foundation stitches just work a half double crochet into those chains instead. Okay so one half double crochet in each stitch around back to the beginning. You should have a stitch count of 40 again. Okay, Just coming up to the end I'm just working across these foundation chains as normal. But if you've got chains instead, then just work one half double crochet into each chain. And that last one. Then when you're back at the beginning, we're just going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet. Okay, and I think that's it for the hood. So we can cut cut our yarn there and just pull that through. And then we're gonna I'm going to hide this tail end, just neaten it off. So I'm gonna sew through that last stitch again. 
then I'm going to sew to the back and then just sew in one direction and sew back in the opposite direction and then trim down the excess okay job done okay so that's the main hood like that which might seem a bit crazy at the moment but it's basically going to go on like that so the body's going to go through there and his face is going to come out this way so what we're going to create now though is the little frog eyes on top of these so you're going to make two of these either side so let's give that a go shall we so we're going to get our green yarn again and we're going to do a chain four loop again do a little chain four loop so one, two, three, four, chain four, slip stitch into your first chain. Okay, and then we're going to do eight half double crochet in the center of this chain four loop. So find the middle, we hook into there, bring the arm through do a half double crochet and you want eight of those so that's one two three four five seven and eight okay so eight half double crochets or half trebles if you're using UK terminology it's going to pull that in a little bit but we're not going to slip stitch to join this is going to stay flat so what we're going to do is we're going to chain one don't count that as a stitch and turn your work so we're going to work back along these stitches I'm going to do one half double crochet in that first stitch so one half double crochet in there then we're going to do two half double crochet in the next stitch. So one and two. Okay, then we're going to repeat that. So next stitch we do one half double crochet. Next stitch we do two half double crochets. One and two. Repeat that again, one half double crochet in the next stitch. Then two half double crochet, one and two. Then repeat that one more time. So one half double crochet. And in the very last stitch, which is tucked on the end there, we do two half double crochet. So don't miss that last stitch. Okay, so you should have a stitch count of 12 by the end of that row. Now what we're going to do though is we're going to do some half double crochet front post stitches. Um, try and give it a go. If you can't, just do one half double crochet in each stitch across. But we're going to start off by chaining one and turn. Now you can do one half double crochet in each stitch across if you want to, but try and give the front post stitch a go. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and we're going to split open that those half double crochets at the front until you can see a gap in the middle. We're going to put our hook behind that first stitch and we're going to come out in between those two stitches. In between. Okay. Then we're just going to grab our yarn and bring that to the back. Okay. You've got three loops and then just yarn over, pull through all three. Okay. And then this time we're going to go in that gap where we came out into there and go around the back of the next stitch okay so we're not going into the stitch at the top we're going around the post and again grab the yarn and bring it underneath and then yarn over pull through all three and do that all the way around so go in where you came out and go on to the next stitch and some are easier than others bring the yarn round pull through all three okay so see where you came out go in there 
and then come out under the next stitch, underneath the next stitch. Grab the yarn and bring it underneath. Pull through all three. And count as you go. I think we've done four. Next one, go in where we came out, under the next stitch, out the other side. Bring the yarn under. Pull through all three. Five. Next one, go out. Go in where we came out and underneath the next stitch. Okay, so we're skipping those stitches at the top, we're going around the post. Bring the yarn underneath, pull through all three. How many is that? Two, four, six. Go in where we came out, come out in between those two stitches. Sometimes it's hard to come between these two, the increase. Just push in between them, bring the yarn round. Seven. Next one. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And then the last one we just go in go round but just come out at the, the end Bring the yarn round 12. Okay so what that does is it pushes the yarn at a 90 degree angle so it just creates a nicer shape but if you really struggle with that then just do one half double crochet normally in the stitches above across just normal. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to half double crochet two stitches together until we get to the end. So starting in that first stitch so yarn over, go into the first stitch, bring the yarn through, yarn over, into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, five loops, pull through all five loops. I'm not doing an inv invisible decrease because this is just easier. It doesn't look so bad. Okay, so next two, yarn over, to the next stitch, bring the yarn through, yarn over, next stitch, bring the yarn through, five loops, pull through all five loops for your next decrease. Then the next two, yarn over to the stitch, pull through, yarn over to the stitch, pull through, five loops, pull for all five loops. And just repeat that all the way across. Half double crocheting two stitches together. And your stitch count should go down to, um, how many should it go down to? Six, I think. be half and then the last two not to miss that last stitch okay then we're going to chain one and turn so you should have six stitches left and we're going to do the same thing again I'm going to yarn over and half double crochet two stitches together till we get to the end so into the first stitch, yarn over into the next stitch, five loops, pull through all five loops, yarn over to the next stitch, yarn over to the next stitch, and then the last two, pull through all five loops. Okay, and there is our little eye. So leave a little bit for sewing. Pull that thread through, and it should look a little something like that. So it creates a nice shape. What we're gonna do now is we're just going to create the eye. Now, if you remember earlier, I created that little, wherever it's gone. Where's it gone? Where are you? There it is. So short length of yarn with three knots on top of each other. I'm going to take that now and I'm going to sew that each end. So you want to find where the main hole is and I'm just going to sew just to the side of it very slightly so it catches on some yarn. Sew to the inside. One end of the black yarn and then take the other end Then sewing over 
just slightly over to the other side so it catches on the other side. There we go, and our little three knots are going to catch on the outside and create an eye. Then turn it inside out and we're going to tie these together nice and firmly. And this yarn is a different yarn to the main yarn I'm using, this is why it's so stringy. This is not the car topper yarn. Okay, so I've double knotted that, trim down the excess and turn it back side out, right side way out and there's our little eye in the centre. Okay, so then I'm going to neaten up this tail end, this beginning tail end. Just sew that down onto the inside a bit. Get it out of the way. Trim that down. Okay, and then what you want to do is we're going to take this end Thread that on to our needle. The first thing I'm going to do is just secure this. That's a decrease. I'm just going to sew over to this side. Just to pull that in keep that decrease in place and then I'm just going to sew that onto the hood and what you want to do is make sure that that hole is at the bottom and the opening is at the front and we're going to sew the eye onto here okay same way as we did the arms and the legs so let's might be better is to flatten that that in the middle find out where that needs to go And then I'm going to sew this on. And before I finish sewing it on, I'm just going to stuff it slightly as well. So this I'm actually doing more of a whip stitch, actually, which is a bit different to how I did the arms and the legs. Because it's all green, so you can't really see the stitches. So just sew this on as neatly as you can, how you like. Okay, so just before you finish sewing it on completely, so you've got a little bit of a hole left, we're just going to add a little bit of stuffing just to shape it. Okay. And then when you finish stuffing, just finish sewing and repeat all these steps for the other frog eye, the other side. So I shall do that and then I shall come back. Okay, so just repeat all those steps for the other eye, the other side. Okay, okay, so I finished sewing on that eye and I repeated all those steps to make another eye the other side and I've sewn that one on as well. And either, both eyes sit either side of the little hole on the inside. So all, all that's left to do now is to actually put that on our little character. So we're going to feed the body through the gap down here his little arms through and then we're just going to pull his hood and pray that it fits there we go twist this round a bit <laughs> so his other eye is showing and there we go there is his little frog hood looking very cute Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the, what should we do, what's left to do? I think it's just the hair to do now. If you want to add hair, um, I'll show you how to do the hair. And of course the bow as well, if you want to add a bow. So for the hair, I've chosen like a sort of pinky browny colour. Um, I'm not going to read out the numbers of these colours because I've, I've suddenly realised I've got all the labels mixed up. So I'll probably end up reading out the wrong colours, the wrong shade colours. But what we're going to do is we're going to just below his hood so if we just put his hood back a little bit just below his hood about here let's see where this comes up to actually so make sure it's on straight so just above his eye up to about there we're going to put our hook into one of the stitches there 
and we're going to come out in of the next stitch. Okay, so we'll take his hood down for a sec. So we've gone in one stitch, out the next stitch. Then we're going to grab our yarn, our hair colour yarn, and we're going to put that over our hook. And we're going to bring that through underneath the stitch to the other side. So we've got a little loop on there. And then we're going to chain 15. We're going to chain 15 from there. So chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so I'm going to pull that tight at the bottom there. Chain 15, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go find the next stitch along, so not where we came out, but literally the next stitch along on the same row, go in there and come out of the next stitch along. And then we take our yarn, we're going to bring that through we we'll do a little slip stitch. We're just going to bring that straight for the loop on our hook as well. Okay. And it creates a little sort of um, 15 chain loop, as it were. And then we chain 15 again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and we do the same thing again. We're going to find the next stitch along, so not where we came out, but the next stitch along on the same row. Go in there, come out the next stitch, and again bring that through, and then do a slip stitch by bringing that straight through the loop on your hook. A bit, little bit fiddly. Oh, don't lose it. There we go. And then do the same thing again, chain 15. Repeat this, all in all, I do about six of these loops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So chain 15 again and just bring them up again. So not where we came out there, but the next clear stitch along on the same row, put a hook in there and come out of the next stitch. And do the same thing again. So keep repeating this until you've got about six loops of 15 chains, or six loops, until you get over to the other side. Okay, so we'll do that again. Chain one, two, three, Okay, so this is just my last, my sixth loop, and I'm just going to go in there again and just slip stitch out the next stitch and bring that through and just finish with a slip stitch. Okay, so it should be above the other eye, the other side. And I'm just going to cut that yarn and pull that through. Okay, so it looks like this a little loop and then slip stitching over. So it goes from one side to the other, so I've got six of those. And then I'm just going to take this first tail end and I'm just going to tie that in a knot, double knot, to secure it into place. That'll be hidden under the hood and then trim that down. Okay, so that's his hair. don't know why, but I think it's like a little boy. And there we go, and bring the hood back up. If it sits down, that kind of shows, but because I'm propping the hair up like that, you can't see the little tie. And there we go, there is the hair. So he's looking cool. <laughs> and all that's left to do now is to, what's left to do? There's the bow, and I'll show you how to add a loop. And then I just added a little bit of a bow on the front there, so I'll do that as well. So let's show you the bow next. And the bow I tend to do in the same color as the body. So let's get the purple him over there and the bow's really easy we're going to start off by chaining nine so chain nine no, 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 nine and 
this is a surprisingly long pattern for such a small thing. Let's chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we're going to do a half double crochet in our second chain. So don't count the loop on your hook. First chain, second chain, hook in there. Do a half double crochet or a half treble if in UK terminology. And we're going to do one half double crochet in each chain to the end. So a half double crochet in the next chain, a half double crochet in the next chain. All the way to the end. You can do foundation stitches if you prefer, just do eight half double crochet foundation stitches if you like doing those. And near the end, last one. Okay, so you should end up with eight stitches, eight half double crochets. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do another um, seven rows. So rows two to eight. We'll just do seven rows of chain one, turn, and one half double crochet in each stitch across. So you're creating a tiny little swatch, a flat sort of square rectangle shape. So one half double crochet in each stitch across. I'm going to do that for seven rows. Okay, seven more rows. So I should do that, then I shall come back. And last stitch. Okay. Take out got the stitch count of eight. Two, four, six, seven. Ah, so eight is hidden on the end. So always check your stitch count. Then chain one, don't count that as a stitch, and turn one half double crochet in each stitch across. Okay. Okay, so just coming up to the last couple of stitches on the seventh row. And you should have something that looks like that, so like a little rectangle. So in total you've got eight rows uh, from the very beginning. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to fold this in half. So just fold this over and what we're going to do is we're going to do a little chain one and turn put your hook into that first stitch and then grab the other stitch from the opposite side the first one there bring that through that stitch then through that stitch and do a slip stitch okay and we'll do that all the way across so into the second stitch then second stitch the other side slip stitch. You want to do that for all the stitches across. So three, four. Okay. And then what you want to do is leave quite a bit of a tail. You'll see why. And cut that. And we're going to pull that through, and then you can tuck this, tuck this tail end on the inside, in there. Then what you want to do is flatten this, and then we're going to flatten it so that the seam is in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to take my yarn needle. I'm going to sew, it's going to neaten this off by sewing to the other side. Then I'm going to sew on the inside and I'm going to come out at the middle. Okay, so the yarn's in the middle. And then what you want to do is you want to wrap this round the middle and you want to pull, not too tight because that's going to distort that. So maybe not the first one, but then the next one you want to pull nice and tight like that until you've got a nice neat center. 
you don't have to do it, do loads. And then turn it over and just check you're happy with your bow. Okay, then when you're happy, we're going to sew on the bottom just like that to hold that into place. Do that a couple of times. Okay, and then turn it upside down where it looks much nicer and take your little character and we're going to use this same thread to create the loop we're going to use for our chain. So all that I'm going to do is position that wherever you want to. You might want it on the top or the side or the front or wherever. I'm going to put mine at the side here, same as my first character. And the arms at the back, so I'm just going to secure that a couple of times on the head. It's nice and tight. And then I'm going to sew over to here where you want your keyring to be. Okay, so that's on nice and securely in position. And then we want to get our little keychain. If you're going to use a keychain, I'm just going to create a little loop for this. So I'm going to probably sew over just in the middle. Let's go back in there and I'm just going to come out wherever. So let's come out onto the face somewhere. I don't know, it seems a bit extreme but I'm just going to bring that out there. Then I'm going to pull this, but I'm not going to put it like completely flush because I want to keep a little bit of a loose loop. So just about that much, so it's not completely against. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in where I came out over here, and let's come out on the body somewhere where the colour's the same. Go to the back first, it's easier. And that should disappear on the inside. Okay, and then disappear. And then don't pull that too tight though, because you still want to keep your loop up there. And then I'm going to finish up by by doing all this sewing it means the hood's not going to come off so bear that in mind and then I'm just going to come out on the body over here and then cut this off and that should disappear on the inside and there we go there's our bow sewn on and we've got our little tag for the keychain and, and that's it pretty much. Um, you can add a little bit of fancy yarn. I might take, like I said, from this Avril yarn. It's not an ad for this yarn shop in Japan. Um, I was in Japan in May and I went on a bit of a yarn crawl and I found this adorable little yarn shop in Kichijoji, which is in Tokyo, sort of like a suburb of Tokyo. And I picked up these like yarns and these are like little bits left over because I use this yarn for something else and it's a good idea to keep these like little bits and bobs so I'm going to take a couple of I think I'll take a little bit of blue and the sparkle I'm going to split this up I'm just going to use this as a little bit of a fancy bow okay so take this little bit I think And then I'm going to sew this onto the front of my character. So I'm just going to go into just 
one of these little stitches and then out through the next stitch like that just pull that through and then I'm literally just going to tie this in a bow that just adds a little bit of sparkle for our little character And there we go, it's got a little bit of a fancy bow on the front, but you don't need to add that if you don't want to, it's entirely up to you. And there we go, that is, oh last, there is something left isn't there, there's these little blushes, now how did I create the little blushes? Well this is an optional thing to do, um, and something I like to do, so I'm just going to get some extra tools, hang on. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a Stanley knife, um, a brush, and I've just got some cheap chalks. Some soft pastel chalks and if you've got a pink chalk then brilliant I don't have a pink your chalk so I'm gonna have to use a little bit of red so I'm just going to scrape off a little bit of red there and a little bit of white and then what I'm gonna do so I'm going to mix those together to create a pink. If you've already got pink, then that's brilliant. And then when you've got a little bit of pink chalk, you literally just brush it onto his face. Like this. And it just adds a little bit of blusher. <laughs> you could also use um, eyeshadow, I'd imagine, if you had like a pinky eyeshadow. On some makeup, you could probably use that as well. So I don't recommend giving these to young children because of all the loose bits and everything. But if it's just for you, for a bit of fun. And there we go. And there is his blushes. Like so. Just brushed on with a little bit of chalk. Now wear off over time, but um, it adds just that little bit extra to your amigurumi. So there we go, I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial and I hope you've managed to follow along and feel inspired to make your own little character dressed as a frog. You could um, even change this, so you, you could make this in brown and these could be ears and it could be like a little bear. Um, it's entirely up to you. But uh, if you'd like the written version of this pattern, it's available for free to download on my website at happyberry.co.uk. Otherwise, I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching guys, bye. <laughs>